Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to my subscribers' cages. So, I asked you guys in my last couple of videos to email me your cages, so I have them on my phone right here, and I'm going to put the picture up on the screen. So, the first cage is by Ava Donilon. Donilon? Sorry if I pronounced your names wrong. So, they said, this cage I have at the moment, uh, but I'm thinking about to upgrading to a CNC cage. I also have one guinea pig, but my parents will let me get another. Um, so this cage is not suitable for even one guinea pig. It is way too small, but it is great that you want to upgrade to a CNC cage. If you don't have that much money, I recommend the Midwest Guinea Pig Habitat, which I have right here. But mine is just combined with two to make it bigger. Um, but overall you have a water bottle a hammock, tunnel, food dish, and hay rack for some bedding. It looks good, but I recommend uh, upgrading your hay rack because the bars seem a little too small for the guinea pig to pull out the hay. But other than that, um, you said you will be upgrading, so that's great. So the next cage is by Piggy's Planet, and this is their picture of their cage. Um, I can't exactly see how many grids it is. It looks like two by three, I believe. Um, but I believe they have two guinea pigs too. So they have two Heidi's, a tunnel, food dish. They're using fleece bedding, which is great. I really recommend fleece bedding. I see a water bottle in the corner and a little hay rack made of cardboard. Um, I think this cage is great. Um, I don't know what you guys is like, spaces like money wise and everything like that but if you can upgrade your cage a little bit more and maybe add some more um, toys in there for them other than that your cage looks great so the next cage here is from furry piggy friend so what i can see in their cage is to the right hand corner i can see a tree trunk hide and in the front i see a water bottle and a nice big hay rack right in the center and another little house in the back corner. So what I recommend um, for your cage, which I recommend for any piggy owners, is to um, upgrade to any hidey houses, to wooden hidey houses, because plastic isn't really that great for guinea pigs uh, because they can chew on them. But yeah, I do have a tree trunk hide just like you, and my guinea pigs chew on it, which I'm planning on tossing it once I get more wooden hides. Um, I can see you have some storage in your need, which is great. You have some case items, um, some storage for hanging pellets, and some lights that the guinea pigs can't touch. So I think your cage is great, other than you, you should add some wooden hides. It also adds enrichment because guinea pigs in the wild um, are used to natural things. Um, so I recommend just putting in some wooden houses. Other than that, I love your cage. So the next cage is from Abby's Animals. So she said, here's my guinea pig cage. It's a it's home to my female guinea pig, Buttercup. Her partner just passed and I'm currently adopting her partner ASAP. Her main level is 12 square feet and her second level is three square feet. She has a large variety of chew toys, hideouts, hay, and veggies every day. By her hay rack is a really soft, nice mat that she that is teal which it looks like it's actually a really squishy bath mat. Uh, she also said her ramp is bubble fleece so she can get a good grip and walk up it and she used spinal cords to hold down the fleece. She also said I prefer to give all my pets water dishes and it's more natural for them so they don't have to put their necks in weird positions. So I honestly don't have any concerns for your cage, Abby. I think it honestly looks great. Um, other than that, other than nothing. I think your cage is amazing, well built, and I hope for the best for you, and I'm very sorry about Reese again. So the next cage is by Ecology Girl. Um, so here's my guinea pig enclosure. Sorry for the mess, I need to clean it. Love the channel, keep it up. Thank you very much. So I, her cage is really big, and it looks like there is chloroplast. Um, so if you can tell me where you got that chloroplast from, I don't know where you live, but in, um, I'm just wondering how you made the cage so wide. 
So if you did, uh, if you know how, and if you live in the US, please let me know, or if there's something similar in the US, let me know. So her cage is really big. I love it so much. So there's a hay rack, which the little um, thing underneath, a hammock, a very uh, large bendy bridge, lots of cardboard tubes, uh, she uses fleece items, lots of toys, lots of houses, and I see a water bottle. And by the way, your guinea pigs are absolutely adorable. So first off, I love your cage, and I think it looks great. Um, one thing I would add is, add is, is maybe another hair rack or a bigger hair rack. Um, I know you have three guinea pigs and I bet they get along well even off the hair rack, but if all three of them want to eat, maybe you can just upgrade their hair rack. You can just use a bent CNC grid and put like chloroplast or something on the back of it so he doesn't get everywhere. Other than that, I really like the fleece cage and little hedgehogs. Um, I really love your cage though. It looks great. So the next cage is from Sina Kim and they are using a Midwest guinea pig habitat. So I can see they have, I can definitely tell that's a fleece liner, which is great. Um, I see you have a guinea pig at a hay rack, have a water bottle, and some toys in the house. So if you only have one guinea pig, I recommend getting a second one, or if that's, if you can't do that, that's okay. Just make sure your guinea pig is very, very happy and you're keeping it company. Um, also, I recommend upgrading your hair rack because guinea pigs need hay 24 seven and that cannot uh, hold a lot of hay. So I just recommend upgrading uh, to a different hay rack. And then I can see you have I think that's supposed to be a uh, hay hideout, which is great. Guinea pigs love those. Other than that, I think your cage looks pretty good. So the next cages are from Piggy Time. So there's Scribble and Ty and John and Jim. So I think Scribble and Ty's cage is very unique. I like how you use a uh, dog pen. Um, so I see lots of houses. I know you have a guinea dad liner too, which acts as a hidey house, a big hay pile food dish, lots of toys, a, and two water bottles. So I honestly don't think you need to add anything. Your cage looks great. John and Jim's cage. So yes, I can definitely see they're separated. So you have a fleece forest, um, see Bennu Bridge in the other cage. So what I do recommend, if you can, I would uh, add grids around the second level just in case the, the black and white one. I cannot remember names, I'm sorry. Uh, jumps out or jumps into the other cage because that can happen But other than that your cages actually look great. So the next cage is from Box Frost And they sent a cage from a couple weeks ago. They don't have a picture of the current setup But the only difference is that they have fleece Heidi's fleece and Heidi's and This is for their five female piggies. So their cage is absolutely huge I love it and I, rec I love all the colorful hides on the side. Um, so you can use, you have fleece bedding, you have a little hay rack over there, and another little hay rack, tons of hides, tons of floor space. And you see some water bottles, food dishes, toys. So I really love your cage. So again, for any piggy owner, so anybody that's watching this that has guinea pigs, any plastic houses you have, I recommend getting wooden houses. After you get wooden houses, toss the plastic houses. Because I know guinea pigs like to chew on plastic and it, if they eat it, it's not really good for them. But I know my guinea pigs, um, when they chew the plastic, they just spit it out, which makes a huge mess. But that's all I have to see for your cage. Your cage is really nice. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see a part two, please comment down below and email your cage to me at justguineapigs1 at gmail.com. Bye!